Hello, this is Jean Nager with the Twin City Air Optimist Club, here with the Leader Art Challenge, which is sponsored by Twin City Air Optimist Club and Leader Publications. And we're going to be doing a stress ball today, and it's very simple. You're only going to need three things. You're going to need a balloon, you're going to need uh, some flour, and some permanent markers, some Sharpie markers. Uh, but first of all, you're going to stretch that balloon out a little bit, just to get it, prepare it for your for making your stress ball. And then blow it out also to stretch it out. And then let the air out. Okay. And I filled the balloon with um, flour. I did this several ways. I, I tried a turkey baster, and that went fairly well. It went right in there, except you're only able to get a little flour at a time. So that, that was time consuming. You could suck up the flour, and it would only come up about halfway, and then you could squeeze it in. And that, that took a while. So I kind of gave up on the turkey baster for that time. And then I tried the funnel by itself. Um, and that, that the flour kept getting stuck and I didn't have enough air to push it through. So what I found to work the best was to take um, a water bottle and use the funnel to fill the water bottle with um, flour. Now make sure you do this very slowly because if you do it too fast, the flour, because it's so fluffy, will fall uh, down into, well, will get down into the bottom of the funnel and it will, it'll get stuck and it won't go into the bottle. So do a little at a time and that works and then just shake it through. Um, you want the, the bottle to be oh, at least half full, maybe a little more. It'll allow some air, but also you know have enough flour to fill your balloon. And then you're going to take your balloon and just stretch it over the top of the bottle to make a seal to get your flour in. Then turn it upside down and give it a squeeze. And you see it's putting some flour in and also some air. And then again, you're going to kind of pull that down, the other, bring, it, bring the flour back out, and give it another squeeze so you're getting some more air. And just fill it up as much flour as you, and air as you want. And this is feeling kind of squishy. I think it needs a little bit more flour. So again, I'm going to go ahead and get another squeeze. And I think that's about right. Maybe one more squeeze, just depending on how big you want it. And you need at least a 9-inch, and this is, a, I think, a 12-inch balloon, and that probably is the best. Then once you're finished filling it up, make sure you get as much of the flour down into the, the body of the balloon, and then take the... Take it off the bottle, take the seal off, and then you're just going to, um, I could have had a little bit more in this one. You could, then you're just going to tie it off as if like you're normally blowing up a balloon. Just tie it off, and at that point, you're ready to decorate. And you can do this again with permanent markers. You could probably use acrylic paint, but it might rub off after a while. I think the permanent markers will stay better, the, the Sharpies. And then decorate different ways. Um, I made an emoji. I thought that was kind of cute. I added some yarn for hair. You can add ribbon, string, making ball, whatever. Again, I just thought a little uh, hair would be cute. Then I made a smiley face. This is one of my favorite ones. And then if someone's feeling a little blue, we have a little sad face. Um, I also have just one that I just drew some hearts on. So again, doesn't have to, it can be very, very simple. Uh, I made a watermelon. And again, a watermelon's not always round, so again, that playing with that, that getting de-stressed and making that watermelon shape it into an oval watermelon. Also, uh, just a color block. If you just want to add some, paint, you know, paint some colors on with your markers, you can do that too. Uh, this, it's just endless. You can add a monogram. We can add a little message. You could put uh, your, um, uh, like, if it's a baseball a white balloon, put uh, the 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 red uh, um, stitching or any other kind of a uh, sports ball. You could add a mascot if you're really artistic. Um, so there's just, I mean, it's endless. You can just do whatever you want. Again, you're the artist, so you put whatever you want on it. And enjoy, have fun. Uh, make sure that you uh, send your photos or your videos to the leaders so that they can uh, put your name in the pot for a gift card for a local uh, business uh, so that you can hopefully win that. And then everybody can see your your ideas and things that you've done, and uh, just let us let's know what we, we just we get excited. We want to see. I get excited, so please, please, please share. Thank you so much.